Hello all the crazy people out there, my name is Dragonite, welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Last time we have defeated Mimi of uh, Count Black's Minions fames, and today uh, we are going to continue onward, put the pure heart in the heart pillar where it belongs, and read a whole bunch of dialogue. Count Black's servant Mimi had laid a nasty trap for Mario and friends, but with the help of Merle, faithful defender of the pure heart, the day was won. But who were those other two heroes mentioned by Merle? With five pure hearts yet to be found, Mario knew this adventure had only begun. Alright, I will not be saving my game, and we will be continuing onwards. Yeah, so I just got a brief memo from Mimi. It says, I messed up bad. That's the message in its entirety, yeah. <laughs> she failed to best him, even with the gift of power. Light prognosticus here, descendants of the ancient tribe, their strength grows. Count Black! I beg you, give me the honor of well in this pack of Nambi Pambies. I swear on my whiskers that I spank them like nutty little tribbles, I will. They knew they looked like butts. Oh, so, uh, Chunks, yeah, you think you're all set to go? So I guess you finished up that report that you owe the, uh, the report on your own ina inadequacy that I needed. Eh, uh, yeah, see, I just got a wee bit left. I'm working on the conclusion. You gotta give me a break. Me writing takes time less than a thousand pages be a lot. Oh, Chunks, calm yourself. Take a minion timeout. Count Black will send... Dementio! Come to me, Count Black. And so I arrive like a sudden windstorm at a kindergarten picnic. Hehehe, <laughs> you like some playtime, I imagine, Dementio. So, yeah, so you shall have it, but do not disappoint, Count Black. Dispatch this hero. Your wish is my command. Besides, this fool sounds like an amusing challenge. Now, if there's nothing else, I'll be on my way. Ciao, my Count. Yeah, so, Chunks, can you fill me in on why you're still not writing that report? A report? What are you? Oh, yeah. Alright. I'm going. Be great beard tweaker. And he's gonna not eject in the humorous way. He's just gonna jump off screen. Count, let me bring you up to speed on the current state of the castle. I still have to root out a few unconverted rogues, but I'll, rep I'll rep report back soon. And she is also gonna jump off the scene. Heroes trying to save these pathetic old worlds. Black, says Count Black. <laughs> their, errors, their efforts are in vain. No one can stop Count Black. And off they go. I love how the book just flips out after him. Just as no one can ease the tempest that rages in my suffering heart. There's a little ambiguity, perhaps, in that statement there, but... I think uh, once you see a little bit more of the game story, it becomes very interesting. Ooh, my head! Hey, where am I? Oh yeah, I remember. I was saving Princess Peach, but I screwed it up and... You awake, Green? Yeah, hey there, uh, bad guys. Are you doing alright? Yeah, we're doing okay. Good to see you made it. Pikachu he was done. Dude is tougher than he looks. So yeah, kind of awkward. Say, have you guys seen the princess and Bowser? Nope, not too much. You're the only one we found lying around here. Hopefully they're both okay. Get a load of this moron. Who cares about his friend? Near as we can figure, most of her, the other minions got captured or something. And we're probably next. Why is this dude so calm? We're behind enemy lines. So, Luigi, old buddy, what do you think about maybe getting out of here? Thinking maybe you could open up a path for us and then we bail. What to think? No, I, I couldn't possibly. I gotta save the princess. Man, wow. Did not expect that. All those stories about Green Luigi's daring exploits. We'd heard you were the defender of the helpless. We have no one else. The great Luigi, you say? Uh, the daring defender? Me? And I've got no choice. Luigi must spring into action. My fans need me. Oh, you're the best. Man, that was way too easy. What a sucker. We're right behind you. The second thing going gets rough, we bail. Then follow me, brave, uh, Goombas. Here we go! Alright. Like some other characters in some other games, Luigi has a power. Uh, it does not seem that I can actually execute it here, so that's too bad. We are stuck in this, uh, rather vacant room. In Count Black's castle? Let's see. If I go this way, 
pretty sure I'm just gonna find a locked door, as we uh, often do. All right, I won't budge. It must be locked from the other side. You'll notice off the bat that Luigi can jump higher than all of the uh, all the other characters. That is a bit of a Super Mario tradition that I believe goes all the way back to the original Super Mario Bros. Is uh, Luigi can jump higher than Mario, but he also has a uh, lower coefficient of friction on his shoes, and he will take longer to stop after he after you take your finger off the button, as you can see here. All right, and that I believe has been uh, reflected in most, if not all, games that Luigi has appeared in, as opposed to Mario, even down to the sports games. So, let's see. Oh, jumping is so much fun when you can when you can jump like this. There are, I believe, in the various points in the game, a few uh, locations where Mario is just barely not jumping high enough to to be able to reach something that Luigi can. Anyway. Uh-oh, looks like the end of the line here. Oh boy, looks like you're right. Now what do we do? Uh, shouldn't we look for another way out, maybe? This guy's useless. If we stay put, somebody is definitely gonna spot. Yes, Zord! Hail Blick! Alright, uh, we've seen this before. Gary, no! <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. You! Yeah, you're that guy who really wasn't a team player back at the wedding. Gonna need a little more disciplinary action, I think. So let's get started, hmm? Oh man, poor Gary. Alright, it's time for me to Goomba up. Hey, lady! Got room for one more on your team? What? Hey, what a second! What are you doing? What's it look like, genius? I'm getting with the winning team! Yeah, good call. Love the enthusiasm there. Go ahead and swear your, you know, undying loyalty to the count when you're on board. Hey, count me in, lady! Here we go! Count, here we go! Love that count! You, you dirty traitor! Okay, guys, new agenda. Hold this fool down so I can get his priorities on track. Yes, ma'am! I think that one voice line says more than I ever could. So, we're gonna fade to black before seeing the actual hypnosis, but I think that... Uh, I think not much is left up to the imagination as to what follows. You're late! Did something happen? Yeah, father caught me. Sneaking out of the castle wasn't easy after that. I was worried you wouldn't come. You are a strange girl. You know what I'm, and you know what I am, and yet you do not seem afraid. I don't care what you are. I just wanted to see you. Is that so wrong? No, no, of course not. I wanted to see you too. Lumiere, do you mind if I sit next to you? Please do, Timpani. Let's return to our conversation. Let us know more of you. All right, so we've got a bit of a uh... oh, welcome back, friends. I'll continue that thought in a minute. How was your journey this time? Did you find Merlin and obtain the pure heart? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we did. Merlin said that we would need the power of four heroes to save the world. Yeah, Merlin really said that. Oh ho, is that so? There is more than one hero. Well, if Mario and Peach are two such heroes, then you'll still need two more. Look, over there. The void has grown. Hmm. I fear that our time grows short, dear friends. We'll return to the light prognosticus. You young ones seek the next heart pillar. So he's gonna shove off. The void has grown. But first, allow me to tell you of something that mystical book has already divulged to me. One person will determine whether the light or dark prognosticus predicts truly. Both books refer to him as the man in green. But I know not what this means. Huh! I'm sure it's nothing. I must return to my study to solve this conundrum. So he's going to finish shoving off now. And we are tasked with finding the next heart pillar. So, yeah, I know that uh, Romeo and Juliet has been reinterpreted in a number of ways over the year, but I think my favorite is, uh, what would it be? Juliet and Romeo, but he's from another dimension and also, like, evil or something like that. Or, uh, or, or at least his, his family is evil or whatever. I think that's a, uh, one of the more interesting spins on it. So the void has grown in the in the sky, and we're gonna have to uh, 
I'm gonna have to deal with that as the game progresses. That doesn't actually have gameplay implications. Also, by the way, like, right after I finished recording here, I, um... Remembered... I believe... Somewhere around... Somewhere around here, there is a hidden block. I'm actually not seeing it. Huh, I thought it was around here. Maybe there isn't. Alright, whatever. I'm pretty sure that somewhere on the flip side outskirts there is a hidden block that you can, uh... You can reveal with Tippy, and that will, um... Allow you to find a secret area of some sort. Let's see, so this is, uh, this is more or less where we went for the second dark pillar. Uh, the, the third one, I believe, is gonna be somewhat farther along. We may have actually passed the site on our way to the second one. Uh, so let's go down this pipe. And... Let's see... Was there a, uh, crack in the wall or, or something to that effect down here? I believe I remarked on a crack in the wall somewhere. Oh, you know what? It wasn't down here. Not what I was looking for. Um, there was a- there's blocks here. It wasn't down here, it was by, uh, Saffron's. Although I don't believe that led to, at least not this heart pillar, but perhaps another one later on. So we are going to go down this pipe, and this is going to lead us into a new area. Congratulations. Alright, bonus stunts. And if we come down here, we see there is a, a little hole in the wall and I can stunt off with all of those at the same time um, do I want to go down that pipe yet sure I'll, uh, I'll remember to come back here I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna get lost or anything uh, probably see we are in the basement two level outskirts and did not get to stunt off that first one let's see Behind this pipe, there is a set of blocks. Which, at least for now, I don't believe can be broken. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna want Princess Peach. If I want to. If I want to be able to drift over this, uh, this gap over here. Alright. By the way, if I, if I set up Boomer Crouch... Okay, I was wondering if I would, like, deflect myself backwards if I did that, but it doesn't look like I do. Alright. Peach. I know that, uh, there's a bit of a... There's a bit of... A delay between when you hit... Alright, it doesn't seem that I can cross over here. There are hidden blocks. There's a bit of a delay between when you start jumping and when Peach actually goes into umbrella form. Is there another one? There is. But once these blocks are revealed, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We can, we can do this. Feeling feeling brave. You can probably jump over more than one at once, but I am... I'm not that good at video games. Alright. Here we go. Uh, if I switch back to Mario, and if I switch back to 3D, good job, Mario. Um, let's see, we can, we can see what is, uh, what is through this hole in the wall. Alright. This is going to lead us to... A block. This is going to create stairs of sorts. Okay. Uh, save block. Interesting. And an elevator. What's what's up this elevator? I uh, I do not remember the uh, the farther out parts of flip side that well. This is going to lead us to a uh, I guess what looks like a coffee house. You there? A hole in the sky? You say? I don't care about that. You blathering dolt. Ugh. Where's that cursed wordsmith gone? All right, so you're, uh, you've got some other things that you're worrying about. Uh, this, I believe, is a, uh, bit of a, bit of a casino area. If I talk to you guys, ah, it's the spot. Milk straight up, the only way to drink milk. Interesting, come on, take a load off. This is the beverage area, I'm down low, the underwear. Nice. I'm the owner of this joint. The name's Garson, so yeah, lucky and all that. Listen, in my line of work, I hear gossip, even gossip I don't care about. But who knows, somebody might care about the stuff, maybe even you. So yeah, if you ever want to talk, you know where to find me. Right here. For just a few coins, I'll tell you some interesting stories, no joke. Alright. What will actually happen if I do that? So, ten coins, stylish moves. Okay, so you're just gonna tell me about doing stunts off of enemies. Um, yeah, shake the Wii Remote, and you'll do a stylish move in the air. 
Get some, uh, some extra experience. Anything else you can tell me? The pure hearts. Alright, what's this gonna be about? Alright, this sounds like a recap of what we already know about the pure hearts. Fascinating. Not gonna read this all aloud. Boy, you do have a lot to say. One more? The Dark Prognoscus. Alright. Not that I have much more that I really feel like dealing with money, but... Uh, the Dark Prognosticus, again, we, we kind of already know what the what the gist of this thing is. And there's not much that you are going to uh, have to say about it. The Ancients, no. I think, I'll, I think I'll end it off there. So you may have seen... Did you really just tell me anyway? Oh, you told me about the Dark Prognosticus. Uh, I'm probably never going to speak to you again. You may have seen when we came in the door... Uh, through the back of this, the back of this building, there is a little warp pipe. And if we take this down, we can, uh, we can come down to this, uh, this gaming hall. And this is, this is a place that I will be, I will revisit later, I think. I will not do this now. Uh, you can unlock games and play and win prizes and, and the like. Uh, but I am, uh, I'm going to be concerned with, with other things for the time being. So we can get out of here. And we can, uh, can make our way onwards, or at least backwards. Let's see, I believe this will lead us up to the elevator that was out of commission on the first floor flip side. Yeah, we are here on the first floor flip side. If we want to be able to get down there without having to go through that whole traversal, uh, we know where to go now. I'm going to return, and there was a, uh, somewhat suspiciously conspicuous body of water that was um, over here on the side over here that I would like to to investigate. So first, I'm going to talk to this chest, and this chest is going to give us a... the Internet card. Alright, Internet being the uh, the game show host guy robot thing. And if we fall down to the, uh, to the bottom of this body of water, we can swim up over here and... Who on earth is this? Alright, you don't look suspicious at all. Greetings, name is Flynn. Freelance sales freak, fully licensed and bonded. Sell anything, sell to anyone, sell big, sell often, sell now, my slogan, trademarked. I sell stuff that's so hard to find, not even I can find it. Yeah, you heard me, right? So, look then, buy. Alright, so this guy is a, uh... This guy is going to sell some items to us. Uh, these are rare items, which are a little bit harder to find than usual items. There's a cash card SP which is a stronger version of catch cards. Catch cards uh, will not work quite as well against stronger enemies, but uh, the catch card SP has a bit of a higher catch rate in the Pokemon parlance. Uh, Thunder Raid, Shooting Star, Ghost Room, Catch Card, Cake Mix, Cake Mix, Fresh Pasta Bunts. Um, if you want any items that are a little harder to find, you can come down here. Um, otherwise, you can try your luck with, uh, with enemy drops, I suppose. That is a tiny house. It's uh, very cute. I'm sure it won't be important later. Let's see. I think that's all that there is for me here in this, like, beyond the warp pipe uh, area, where I, uh, I kind of avoided trying to find the heart pillar. So if I had to go back, back down where I came from, uh, there was, um... See, this is a save block, which I guess is nice. I don't think there's many places down here where it's possible to, to die. But it's, uh, it's there if you want it. What does this say? Alright, this is the, the flip side pit of 100 trials. Danger. Do not enter. Flip side city hall. Uh, Paper Mario games, traditionally... Alright, I was gonna say, can I get back up there? Um, at least uh, the earlier Paper Mario games, or at least the Thousand Year Door and Super. I don't know about any of the others, actually. Uh, the pit of 100 is a challenge area. Which you can take on. And it, and it is a dungeon of 100 rooms. And you need to progress through, uh, defeat the enemy, find the key that will allow you to, uh, to move onwards, and then at the end there's a boss. And honestly, if not for the fact that I don't have a lot of healing items, and this tends to be a bit of an endurance run, it will probably not be impossible for me to take it on now. But I, uh, I'm not going to flip back, switch back to flip, switch back to, I hate talking. I'm going to make slim my pixel and go through this wall. Um, I will take on the flip side pit of 100 later. All right, so if we talk to the heart pillar.
All right, we have placed our last heart pillar. I believe I'm actually like, I really don't feel like going through that hole in the wall again. I, um, I've explored all there is accessible to explore now. And with that, I will hit up the return pipe and go back up to the top of town. And from there, we shall, uh, we shall move on. But I'm going to end this off here. So my name is Dragonite. This has been Super Paper Mario. Uh, we have placed our third pure heart and our third heart pillar. And next time, go through the yellow door. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.